Lesson one, food safety hazards in depth, microbiological hazards. In this lesson, we will examine the ways in which bacteria can grow on food and cause it to become unsafe, and the practices which reduce the chances of microbiological contamination to the lowest possible levels. Microbiological contamination, or bacteria, occurs most frequently with cooked foods, but certain other foods can become contaminated with bacteria if not properly handled. Bacteria are minute, or very small. You cannot see bacteria in food without a microscope. Some bacteria are harmless, but some may cause food spoilage that leads to food poisoning. Bacteria need certain conditions to multiply and become a safety risk. Time, temperature, moisture, and the type of food are the factors that determine how much bacteria may be present in our food and how rapidly they will multiply. Certain types of food at temperatures between 20 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius, when moisture is present and given enough time, can produce food poisoning bacteria every 10 minutes. Watch how quickly the bacteria multiply in this short video taken with the use of a microscope. No food business can operate without food poisoning bacteria being present at some time. Food contaminated with bacteria looks, tastes, and smells completely normal. The goal of practicing food safety is to reduce the risks of contamination to an absolute minimum. Sources of food poisoning bacteria include raw foods, people, animals, pests, soil, dust, waste, and even packaging materials. Bacteria usually rely on vehicles to transfer them from sources to ready-to-eat foods. The main vehicles are hands, clothing, equipment, utensils, and other food contact surfaces, such as cutting boards. Cross-contamination occurs when bacteria are transferred from raw foods to ready-to-eat foods either directly or indirectly. The first step in breaking the food poisoning chain is to stop contamination by separating raw and ready-to-eat foods. In order to stop bacteria from multiplying to harmful levels, food must be kept out of the temperature danger zone, which is above 5 degrees Celsius and below 60 Celsius. Keep food hot or cold. Refrigerate food at a temperature below 5 degrees Celsius to stop multiplication of harmful bacteria. Cooking will destroy most food poisoning bacteria. A core temperature of 75 degrees Celsius is usually recommended. The lower temperatures combined with longer cooking times may also be used. In this video, our chef is using a meat thermometer to verify the meat has been cooked to an internal temperature at which it is safe. Meat can appear to be cooked on the outside and yet not have reached a safe internal temperature. A meat thermometer is the only way to be sure. Maintain high standards of personal hygiene. Hand washing and clean clothing are very important steps in breaking the chain of food poisoning. This video demonstrates the proper way to completely wash your hands before handling food. Notice how our chef is careful to clean the palm of the hands, back of the hands, fingers, and especially fingernails.
Use proper utensils, making sure they are clean, and that any food preparation services and equipment are completely clean and disinfected. Be especially careful when using a cloth for wiping. Let's watch as a slicer is completely and properly cleaned and then sanitized. Wash dishes, utensils, glasses, and cutlery with soap, then rinse with clean water. Finally sanitize these to ensure their cleanliness. If you do not have commercial sanitizing solution, you may use two teaspoons of household bleach for every 3.7 liters of water and soak for two minutes, then air dry. This is the end of Lesson 1, Basic Food Safety, a Gate Hospitality course. Please proceed to the next lesson.